again and welcome back to the channel Richard here again with another video uh, today it's not an unboxing video or review uh, something a bit different I uh, have been asked to show the collection off on YouTube um, still sorting it but um, I'm at a point where I can show you the Arrow video collection before I start sorting everything out um, I'll start here with the 4K section of the Arrow collection. Um, when I move on to the Blu-ray section, it'll be probably the last time it'll look in its current state. I'm going to start moving it around. I did have all the limited editions together. Um, but as I've replaced them with 4Ks, I'm going to move them into another part of the collection, um, which isn't as as accessible as others. So um, if I've got it on 4K in a limited edition, there's no point keeping it out on Blu-ray in a limited edition. So I'll put it elsewhere. So um, it's going to be shaky cam for this because obviously I'm on uh, on location, as they say. Um, so this is a look at the Arrow 4K collection, uh, which is here in my um, 4K cabinets. Um, everything in here. I have posted pictures on Twitter and Facebook before of the 4K stands. Um, I will do a video for that when I get it all sorted. Um, I've got quite a lot of sorting to do again because I've added quite a lot of um, 4Ks to the collection since. I think I've got another 20, I think, to put in. So I've got to move it all around again. But these are the 4Ks. Uh, Ferraro at the moment so I've got to move uh, move these two from here and put them into the collection um, there's like the Warners up above there's a little bit of a sneak peek um, at the, the complete 4k collection so Got a bit of sorting to do. I want to take. Um, I want to take these. Um, these from over here and put them into their place. Um, so I've got a universal to put with the universal collection. Um, that's how I organise. I go by studio first. Um, so when I said I can show you the arrow collection, I know because I've got all the arrows together. Um, so these Kino Lobas need putting into the Kino Lobas section, which is over here. So, um, yeah, but for today, let's have a look at the Arrow collection. So, as I said, those two need moving in. And then I pan across to... Cinema Paradiso. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to move on now to the next section of the collection and show you the Blu rays uh, for Arrow. Okay, so moving on to the second location. Um, first thing I've got here on this, this shelf is the With Nail and Eye. Uh, limited editions which are very very nice um, collector's editions uh, and I do have um, my name on there number 168 and that was the next one I have the old, uh, I think it was Anchor Bay. Um, yes, it was the old Anchor Bay um, limited edition DVD steelbook. So behind these, I've got a BFI collection. Um, trying to do this one-handed isn't isn't advisable. 
and the Eureka collection is behind and in this corner as well so moving down um, the light it isn't too bad um, this is the Arrow Academy part of the Arrow collection Including a rare slip cover. Um, moving down, um, there's a few more arrows in the corner uh, before it moves on to arrow films. So these were quite rare as well. Don't see them now with slip covers. Uh, 21 days. That was another one. Uh, crawl. The original True Romance uh, that they did before the 4K that came out, which completely surpasses that edition. Um, the Hunt, that was another one, uh, very rare uh, slip cover. I'll try and get that one out if I can. Uh, really nice shiny slip cover, this one. Um, again, it wasn't Arrow video, Arrow Films. As it was put on the back. Uh, I'm sure I've seen this now in a normal arrow um, collection, obviously without the sleeve. Um, moving down, I'm now into the 101 films um, collection, which obviously needs updating. I've got quite a few to go in there. Uh, moving down, Eureka. Yeah, so up above now, um, we're in the top of the cabinet, well, closet in this one. Um, we've got the Arrow Academy limited editions in here. Um, panning across. So, yeah, this is where the Arrow Academy collection actually starts. I should have started up here. Um, Got some more limited editions there. A really good box set of that. Some great films in there if you like film noir. Uh, the Woody Allen collection. Yeah, really nice. Um, up above is the 88s. Um, they need sorting as well, so I'll get around to them eventually. Um, right, so just going to step back from here and then i'm going to show you the steel box for the 88 uh, sorry steel box for the arrow collection okay so here's the steel book collection um ignore these on the left hand side it's me uh, studio ghibli collection um we'll try and get a proper look at that one day and uh, got quite a few ghibli titles um for now these are the steel books that I've got for Arrow. So there was two big trouble in Little Chinas. One with that artwork. I'll try and get this one out. And one with that artwork. Okay, so the Burbs was another one, that was quite a good one. Um, Candyman. And then going down, City of the Living Dead, Day of the Dead. Donnie Darko before they did the 4K one. Um, they did two Hellraisers. 
If I drop that back, if I can get these out a bit better. So that was one of the Hellraisers. And that was another one. That came with the Hellraiser headset, if I can remember rightly. Um, if I can remember, I will show that at the end. I'll probably forget by the end of the video. Okay, moving down. Robocop, that's also got a 4K now. And then moving down again. Yeah, this one. This was well sought after for a very long time. Zombie flesh eaters. So whether this one is the same, I can't remember. Yeah. And then we have a rare Arrow Films steelbook, which was Ryan Reynolds and Gemma Arterton and Anna Kendrick in The Voices. So they did a steelbook for that back in the day. And then we got the 12 Monkeys Rigid Outer Slip Box um, releases, which had that artwork inside. And then we also had American Werewolf in London. Um, which had that artwork on the inside. So, so yeah, it's always studio order. And then alphabetical order. Um, moving down, um, got some remains of the Studio Ghibli uh, collection that needs sorting out. Um, I've run out of space on the left hand side tower. Um, got some 3Ds at the, in there at the moment. Um, so that's the steel books done. I'm going to now move on to the next section. Okay, so I've now moved on to the limited uh, edition collection. Um, so let's get these doors slid open um, so you can have a look at them. So moving down through. Then I get to the very old ones um, at the bottom, which is how they started, how Arrow started with Blu-rays. Um, so it's like a slip box um, with a clear centre, so you could see the artwork, which could be that one, or you could actually flip it um, to the back artwork like that so that's how they started um, one of the popular titles was Battle Royale um, which I'm looking for here there was the Hell the Hellraiser set that was well sought after uh, Demons as well on the bottom Um really do like my arrow releases and put a lot of a lot of time and effort in trying to get these um 
HMV at the time had great offers on every week. It was two for 25 for the new releases. Um, so it was really good to get. Uh, Shock Treatment, they had two releases. And the Ring Collection. There's the Battle Royale. Um, that was a nice release. What they did. Okay, so I'm going to slide open the second part of the cabinet. Okay, so the next part. Uh, most of these now I've got 4K releases, so I'll be moving these from here into another section of the collection. So that was the second release of the uh, ring collection. Uh, house in the UK, we had one, two, three and four. In the United States, they only had one and two. So I'm hoping to see them this Halloween. Um, this October, I'll be doing 30, 30 31 days um, of horror. So, um, yeah, not going to be short of titles um, to watch, luckily. Uh, there was the Vincent Price Six Gothic Tales. That was the first release, limited edition. Uh, society moving down. Back to the slip cover releases. Uh, slide that across. I'm sure I can get at it with one hand. Uh, Killer Clowns had a new slipcover. So that's it. It was a newish release. They did a new slipcover for it. Uh, I think it was a 4K scan. Yep, yeah, 4K scan. Uh, moving down to the bottom, there's some more of the original releases. Uh, Day of the Dead, Dawn of the Dead, uh, Maniac Cop, which I've replaced now. And then some more releases down the bottom. So this is where this cabinet ends. Um, so I'm going to take you now to the next part of the Arrow Collection. Okay, so into the next part of the collection. Um, two titles here that are too big to go inside the cabinet, so they live on top. It's a trip to the moon and the game, uh, the Michael Douglas film. So I'm going to move down now into the cabinet. Um, so again, it's a dual door cabinet. So let's have a look at the left hand side first. Okay, so these are the arrow films here. These are uh, keep cases, no slip covers, no slip boxes, no limited edition. This is their standard run of the mill uh, collection. So they all live in this side, uh, inside of this cabinet, which is protected with glass doors to keep them clean. So moving down, got some arrow books here in the corner. Um, then some more arrows here. Uh, some of the earlier releases that they did. Um, and then it merges into the Criterion collection after. But um, yeah, just looking at the arrow video collection today. So slide these two doors over and I move on to the right hand side. So there are the titles inside here. Uh, 
and yeah that's onto the criterion so uh, that's everything inside this cabinet so uh, to finish the video off I'm just going to get everything together that I've not put into place um, and then that'll be the end of the video so back in a second okay so on to the final part of the collection um, I did find Pinhead so there he is in all his glory So, very nice. So, moving on. Um, need to find a home for this because it's too big. This is the... Get it right. This is the Gamera collection. Um, quite a big box set. As you can see, um, next to normal 4Ks. Um, so we'll find a home for it. Pop him over there for now. So then got this stack, uh, which has to go into the collection. I'm not sure if you can see them properly from there. So, there's some titles. Um, so, they need sorting. A few more. Um, Picked a few of these up recently from FOP, uh, some great deals um, they had on at the time. Uh, the stylus was actually cheaper than the new edition, which um, doesn't have the slip cover. So I always recommend FOP um, have some good independent titles in there. Sometimes a different range to HMV, so if you have got one, it's worth um, popping in there and having a look. Uh, different offers, different range. And the final few to end this video. Um, Legend, which needs sorting, so that'll go in the limited edition collection. Uh, and then Threshold, so I will get it sorted. Um, as you've seen now, what my Arrow collection looks like. Uh, 4K and Blu-ray. Um, DVD. It didn't really get into with Arrow. Um, I only discovered Arrow really when I got to Blu-ray. I have, yeah, that's the collection. Everything I've got of Arrow. I think you've seen. I've got a couple of titles I have borrowed out um, to friends, which aren't here. But um, that's basically it. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please um, give us a like. Um, helps the channel out a lot. Gets it recommended to other people. And... Um, yeah, inspires me to actually go ahead and um, do these videos for you. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, collection video, um, something different. I will try and do the complete collection eventually, but um, it does need sorting. Um, I do try and do it once a month, but when you buy so many, they've got to go in and then you move things around. So, because I sort by studio, country, alphabetical slip covers slip boxes steel books so um it takes a while but um yeah if you enjoyed it please um drop us a like and uh, comment down below if you're a huge arrow fan and if there's something here that um you caught your eye um be good to hear from you but uh, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing if you want to see more videos uh, like this and i'll see you again soon thanks for watching goodbye